Hi, I'm Tony Butler. I'm the creator of the Primal Storytelling System. And this is part two in our Book Direct campaign. And how do you use Primal Storytelling to create content, to get organic traffic to a website so that you can get more direct bookings, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about Tribe. Now, if you have a marketer on staff, you know, they're familiar with marketing, they're, they're probably familiar with this idea of a buyer persona, you know, or a target market, okay? Th those are ideas that, you know, they've been around a long time. Lots of marketers know them. That's what they teach in college. Tribe is something a little bit different. We're gonna go a little bit bigger, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to look at representation of segments of the people who stay at your property, who they are, and then, this is very important, who are the influencers within their group to make a destination decision? Okay, so maybe it's a, a husband and wife, they're going to take a romantic week out, okay, weekend, um, or a vacation together. Maybe it's a family, they're going on vacation, you know, you got a husband and wife and a couple kids of different ages. They just depend on the destination of the ages. In part three, in the, in the third video, we'll talk about the primal urges and emotions that influence someone to make a decision, okay? So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that right now. We're really gonna focus on tribe. And I really want you to start thinking about the psychographic of your particular audience. Now, let's think about psychographics. The first psychographic thought that I want you to think about is, why would someone stay with you versus every other choice? And, and I want you to just forget about price for right now. So price is a consideration, but it's not the main consideration, okay? Everything that you buy in life has a price. And I think about a car. On one side, at the very bottom, you have the $500 hoopty that you can buy, and it just gets you from A to B, and hey, maybe you don't wanna drive over 30 miles an hour and leave town, or definitely not, don't drive it when it rains or snows. Okay, that's, that's one end of the market. And then all the way at the other side of the market, you know, you've got at the very, very top, you've got cars that are hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars that are custom. You know, maybe they can do 200 miles an hour and they, they're a sports car or gold plated, whatever it might be. What's my point? My point is price has a market, all right? But what we're outside of that market, what we're looking for is what are the psychological reasons that people want to stay somewhere? You know, what are their fears? What are their hopes? What are their dreams around a property? Is it is just a place they're gonna sleep because they're gonna be out at a destination all day long, every day, and they don't care about a lot of the amenities? That's a possibility, okay? Is it they really want a luxury experience while they're there because they wanna feel important, they wanna feel safe, they, they wanna really feel like they've done something that is story worthy, they can go home and tell all their friends about it, all right? Never underestimate those feelings. So then the other part of the psychographic is we wanna look at how decisions are made within the group. So within family groups, so where you have a husband, wife, and children, like who makes most of the decisions in those cases? Well, a lot of times the wife is more likely than not going to have you know, a, a probably a little bigger weight than the husband on where they're gonna go. Not arguing whether that's right or wrong or sexist or not sexist, that's just the reality of it. Okay, we're not gonna get into any political ideas about this. So the other thing that you wanna think about is, so how is decision being made? What are the psychological and emotional factors that are included? And then how is that related back to their demographics? Okay, so where they came from and all the rest of it. Now. When we think of tribe, we're thinking about individuals and how they relate into broad groups. So what I normally do is I'll give an individual, you know, it's a, a fictional representation of a group. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them a name, you know, so maybe it's, you know, vacation, vacationing Vicky. And I talk about Vicky and her family and what they're like. That tribe, that, that definition that you're going to put of each of your segments, okay? You're gonna create more than one. Some hotels are gonna have five, six, seven, eight different segments that they're going to go after, they're gonna market for. And others might only have two or three. It just depends on your particular property. You know, are you a wedding destination? Maybe you need a, a persona, a, you know, a tribe that's all about the wedding and the wedding party and all the things that entail. You know, or are you just a, 
are you outside of a big vacation area and you're just a you're you're just a nighttime that they spend and it's really utilitarian okay all those things are going to factor into it so again let's go back to the main formula primal storytelling so it's tribe which is made up of the demographics the psychographics of your target markets plus the primal emotions and urges and then the third part is story and we'll, we'll talk a lot about that in the fourth video Okay, and this is Anthony Butler, and I'm the creator of Primal Storytelling, and I will see you next time.